Hi, I'm Jeff Hoagland here from the Stony Brook Millstone Watershed Association with Bay Weber, and we're here to introduce you to a plant called water chestnut. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Unfortunately, this is not the edible water chestnut. This is an invasive species that is emerging very rapidly in the state of New Jersey, and it's one that will take over our waterways if we don't do something to prevent it. So let's take a closer look at this plant right here. As you can see, this end of the pond is really covered by the plant. It reproduces very rapidly by seed, but also this is largely from vegetative growth. Bay is, oh, Bay has got one right here for us to look at. It's pretty easy to, to identify. It's characterized by a rosette of leaves. The leaves have air bladders that keep it afloat, and it has very long roots. Uh, looks like the root here probably broke off on this one, but it does reproduce very rapidly with those roots. It flowered probably a couple weeks ago in early July and is now producing seed pods which can be found underneath. The seed pods are notorious um, because they will be, they will harden and become sort of armed with these four barbs. Um, they will fill with seeds and the seeds will mix with the water, they'll mix in the sediment, um, they can get caught on birds and this is how the plant travels around to other waterways. We had a, a batch of this in our pond at the watershed um, reserve and we have been lucky enough to catch it early and remove it manually. That's um, probably the best way to get rid of it. If you find a waterway where maybe it's infested like this, you might have to resort to some other uh, techniques. The state actually uh, does use pesticide, I'm sorry, herbicides to take care of this. Uh, but the key is to really prevent this from taking place. So the preventative measures are if we're interacting with waterways, if we're a boater, we need to wash off our boat and trailer at the site before we enter a new site. If we're a, a fisherman, same thing, wash off our equipment. If you've got pieces of vegetation uh, clinging to your equipment, uh, leave them behind or, or put them in the trash. Um, also, if you're fishing and you have a bait bucket, don't empty the bait bucket into the waterway because there could be seeds. Uh, they're going to be very small mixed in with that. So if you'd like more information on what you can do about water chestnut, take a look at the news section of our website. And we have some information on how you can report findings and just a reminder on what you can do as someone who interacts with waterways to prevent from spreading.